Okay, so here's sort of a look at how Android on the iPhone is performing right now. Uh, as you can see, it's a normal lock screen, and uh, slide to unlock works. It's a little bit weird. Um, the notification pull down, that all works. Um, I've got my SIM card that used uh, from from my Android in this, and it can make calls, it can receive. You can see launching can be a little bit laggy. Um, same with the keyboard, even though it actually works pretty well. Um, the the screen on or the sorry the the lock button on top actually works as the back button. Um, the home button works as the menu button. Um, most of the stuff is sort of how you'd expect. It's not great performance wise. Uh, the web works. Um, it's connected to the Wi-Fi in my apartment right now. Or maybe it's not. <laughs> uh, but it does work with the Wi-Fi. Uh, I had it on earlier. And the volume buttons also act as... Oh, ignore Adam's phone number. <laughs> The volume buttons also work as uh, something. I'm not really sure what that one did. Uh, I guess volume down would be the equivalent of home. Yeah. Um, so volume down is the home button. Holding this brings up the keyboard in weird places sometimes. Um, but in general, it actually works surprisingly well. Uh, power management still isn't working so when the screen turns off it sort of doesn't turn off um, let me see if I can that I think pushing both at the same time puts me into the lock screen um, and uh, yeah then let's see oh and if you want to if you want to shut it down I believe let me see if I can remember you hold down something that's not gonna do it. Um, geez. <laughs> okay, hold down these two together, and it brings up the the power off button. So you can go power off, and uh, it'll shut down. When it res uh, when you power it back up, you get the open iBoot screen, which I'll show you in a second, and that allows you to boot back into iOS or boot into Android or boot into a console okay. mode. So. Once you power it back on, you got open iBoot. You can uh, go between your options by pressing the lock button and then select the one you want to boot into with the home button. That's all there is to it.